This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Friday. Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network. According to the Chicago Purchasing Managers Index, most firms in the Chicago region were growing in November. The index improved to 59.9 in November from 49.7 in October. Commerce reports that consumer spending edged up 0.2% in October. That's the weakest report since June. Individual incomes grew also by just 0.2% last month, the poorest showing in six months. And the gauge of core inflation tied to consumer spending also edged up just 0.2% in October. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke gave investors more reason to believe further interest rate cuts are on the way. In a speech that he gave uh, late Thursday, Bernanke said that tight credit conditions the housing slump and high energy prices will probably create some headwinds for the consumer in the months ahead. Spending on U.S. construction projects resumed to decline in October, reversing two months of gains as outlays on homes and other private building projects fell. September's gains were previously estimated to be 0.3 percent. ConocoPhillips said it submitted a proposal to develop a pipeline in Alaska that would transport about 4 billion cubic feet per day of natural gas to the U.S. and Canada. The company said it's prepared to make significant investments without state matching funds to advance the project. In Forex news today, the yen fell against the dollar after a rally in global stocks prompted investors to buy higher yielding assets with funds borrowed in Japan through carry trades. The dollar headed for a third monthly decline against the euro as traders started to bet the Fed will lower target overnight lending rates between banks by as much as a half percentage point and bolster the economic growth. Also, the dollar index was set for a third monthly loss as the six members of the Gulf Cooperation Council that includes Saudi Arabia may consider relaxing their fixed exchange rates to the U.S. currency at a meeting in Qatar starting on December 3rd. China's yuan had the biggest monthly gain since a link in the dollar was scrapped in July of 2005 as European and U.S. officials stepped up a diplomatic offensive to seek faster appreciation. Meantime, the Chinese currency strengthened this week as European Central Bank President Jean-Claude Trichet led a delegation that met leaders in Beijing to push for faster appreciation in the yuan. Scheduled economic reports next week include the ISM Manufacturing and Services Index, Productivity, Factory Orders, Non-Farm Payrolls, and the Consumer Sentiment Report. In earnings today, Dell earned $766 million, or 34 cents a share, in the three months ended November 2nd. Analysts had been expecting 35 cents a share. Tiffany said net income climbed to $98.9 million, or 71 cents a share. Mentor Graphics reported a third quarter loss of $9.2 million, or 10 cents a share. Last year, they saw a profit of 3 cents. And Omnivision Technologies' fiscal second quarter net income rose to $20.5 million, or 36 cents a share. Next week's earnings uh, looks like Guess, Isle of Capri Casinos, Reader's Digest, AutoZone, Lane Christensen, Payless Shoes, Sanderson Farms, Novell, Corn Ferry International, and Home Builder Toll Brothers. Stocks in the news, Freddie Mac priced its $6 billion fixed to floating rate non-convertible perpetual preferred stock at $25 a share. McDonald's said it named Neil Golden, Chief Marketing Officer of McDonald's USA. That's effective April 1st. And Morgan Stanley said Zoe Cruz is retiring as co-president. And that is the market wrap. I'm Jack Lott. Have a great weekend. This is the James Dix Financial Network.